We made it. We're here. We're cooking in the wild with Ferra. We've been on a boat. We set up the fire. We're ready to cook. We've got the rock box. We've got some beautiful partridge. We're going to cook a butter partridge curry. This is just the kind of cooking that I absolutely love. We're outdoors, cooking over fire. We're using some great ingredients. Partridges in season. Great, sustainable game, which we should be eating more of. It's lived outside. It's not like a farm chicken, is it? We got in here 200 grams of, of yogurt, and to the yogurt I'm going to add this chili ginger garlic paste, just a good spoon of that, and this is all going to be for marinating the partridge breast. And then add this spice blend, which is that's got curry powder, garam masala, cumin, coriander, chili powder. Same spice blend that we're adding to the curry. Yogurt is acidic; it helps. It's going to tenderize the meat. We're also imparting a lot of flavour into the, into the partridge and it's making it better basically. <laughs> God, I'm flowing today. You want to add a good pinch of salt to that, season up the partridge as well, okay? So, because the partridge breasts are quite small, they're this big, this big, I'm just going to take those in half, just lengthways, and they're just going to go in like that. Game may contain shot, just so you know. Don't send me the dentist bill, because I'm not paying it. You just mix it all together. I mean, you can make this in advance. You could make this up to, you can make this up to a day in advance probably is, but is good, day or two. Get it marinating. Obviously we don't have that luxury because we're not camping out here. Um, I wish we were actually, because it's bloody beautiful. Whoa, looky, looky this. I have to say, that looks fucking nice. The curry base, okay. We got some whole spices, which we toasted and then ground in a pestle and mortar. I've got some uh, cardamom pods, green cardamom pods, which haven't been, um, haven't been ground because we take those out. And then we've got peppercorn, black peppercorns, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, okay? And then, actually, I've also got a couple of cinnamon sticks in my poacher's pocket. Obviously, we don't have a blender out here on the Isle of Nowhere, so I've made a cashew cream, which is boiling cashew nuts with water, and then just blending it. We're gonna add that, add that to the sauce once it's cooked down, and that's just gonna give it a nice body and richness and good mouthfeel and then also we're going to smoke some butter and we're going to add some double cream should we just do it chop your onions slice your onions actually so you take them in half take the root off fuck that into the hedge because we're in the wild and it's biodegradable because it's an onion and then just go and just slice 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 Yeah, we can't, can't throw that in the wild, that's, that's a bottle top. Oh, everyone should have one of those, it's great. Come on, right, let's do some cooking. We're gonna cook the curry sauce. First up, you wanna cook the onions down and we're gonna cook that in, in ghee, which is basically just clarified butter. The more butter, the better, mate. Ghee is clarified butter. It's so basically butter which is cooked down so all the milk solids have gone and you're just left with the fat. It means it cooks at a higher temperature. So the butter's melted, I'm going to add in the onions. I'm not going to add in all of them because I've chopped a few too many. Cook down until they're completely soft. 
and sweet, and then they want to be lightly caramelised as well. I'm using Molden because Ferrer are really posh. <laughs> and they don't use fine table shit salt, they like the finest sea salt in the land. So the onions have been cooking down now for about 15, 20 minutes. They're nice and soft, lightly caramelised. We're going to add in the chilli, ginger and garlic paste. So that's a good amount of chilli, ginger, garlic paste. And then once that's cooked down, we can add in, add in the spices. God, that smells good. We probably want a good handful of those. Chuck them in. Uh, and a couple of cinnamon sticks. Cinnamon sticks in. And then we'll add in a couple of tablespoons of this uh, curry powder mix that I've made. Okay, give that a good mix. You want to cook those spices out. But now we're starting to look like a curry. So, I mean, you can already smell that. It really, it's bringing the heat to this, this pretty grisly day we've got here somewhere in the wild. It does smell good, that, doesn't it? Spices have cooked off, cooked out even. You know, getting that aroma, and then adding some one tin of tomatoes. And what we just need to do is just break up those tomatoes so you can break them up. You know, it adds a nice sweetness. Put a pan on the heat, you've got one block of butter, a whole block of butter. It's called butter partridge curry, so I know I'm going to get shit for how much butter I've used. In the pan, we're going to melt that down, and then we're going to take some of this ashy charcoal embers, wood embers, and we're going to put it in the butter and just that's just going to bubble and smoke. So it's been cooking down nice and slowly and we're going to add in the cashew cream now. Stir that in, that's going to give it a lovely texture. And mouthfeel. Yeah, look at that! make the charcoal butter which has added like a lovely smokiness to the butter and you just literally get an ember like that and then you can pull it off the heat take this stuff out which is going to be left with a really smoky smoky butter which is going to go into that sauce and then just it just elevates it it's just it's just that one extra level pour that into the Pull the sauce off, it's just ticking away. And whilst that's whilst that's just resting there, cook these partridge breasts. The marinade's still on like that. So that's all gonna be caramelized in the oven. And it's gonna be it, you're gonna get a nice char on that. So all that flavour is gonna be attached to the attached to the meat. I'll just light, lay them out on this tray. I'm just gonna whack them in the oven. You can put them on skewers and grill them over the fire, but I forgot my skewers, so. We're going in the pizza oven. We're looking for it to come nice and charred. We want black. Whack it in, keep an eye on it. Won't take long. Yeah, we're looking for charred. Charred is good. So this is kind of what we're looking for. Cook down until it's nice and soft for about 20 minutes. A few embers underneath. Nans, they don't like Wayne Rooney. <laughs> um, <laughs> and nan bread, it, nan bread, it, it, it doesn't like sliding off a peel because they normally just whack it on the side of a tandoori. So this, you'll have to go in with a tray, 
bash it in. And once it's off the tree, once it's cooked enough to come off the tray, you can then flip, you can take it off the tray and put it on the stone base. So you can take that out, yeah. Shouldn't be stuck to the bottom. And then you can put it back in on the stone. More butter. Butter over the top of the naan. Couple of tablespoons of double cream. And that just finishes the sauce off beautifully. Look at the colour. Butter partridge curry. So rich. It's really fragrant. Oh, smells delicious. And then this buttered naan cooked in the rock box. I'm going to tuck in. So. Mm. God, it's so good. It's, it's not super, super hot, but there's so much flavor, there's so much flavor in there. You know, he took the time to cook down the onions slowly. He made the chili ginger garlic paste. You've got all the spices right. You've added the cashew nut cream, which gives it that really rich mouth feel. And it's just delicious. The naan is soft, it's buttery, it's crispy. And this is just, you know, it's just warming. You know, it's a lovely, it's a lovely February day. A bit chilly, windy, and this is just what you need. Cooking outside, over fire, we're in the wild. It's fucking great. Seek your wild.